تشيك كله سوا ايه الاخبار زي ما انتم عارفين في سوبرمان في باتمان في سبايدر مان انا بقى كانوا بيسموني فيش مان ليه عشان انا دخلت ريسيرش في فيش فعايز اسالكم حاجه في الاول هو هير ever got an idea rejected once or twice on anything talking uh, presenting okay i want you to put all these hands together and then you'll get the amount of the times i got rejected i got rejected for two months two straight months until one day i finally told my teacher عارفه المره الجايه لما تتعوري عايزك تاخدي جلد السمك اللي انت بترميه في الزباله وتحطيه على ايدك ف That's what got her hooked, and what automatically got her into the idea of artificial skin. So, what is artificial skin? Okay. Artificial skin is just a tissue. It's a tissue-like material which is applied when you have a burn, or is sunburned, or have a medical disease. So it just regenerates and heals your skin after getting injured. So, what is my artificial skin made out of? My artificial skin is made out of three layers. The top layer is a medical silicon layer, which is waterproof and transparent, so nobody can actually tell that you have an injury on your arm. Now, you might be asking me, why would that be significant when I could just place a part of a fish on my arm? Well, I would think that most of you would want to walk with something that looks like this and, doesn't even, and looks invisible instead of looking like something like this. Going back to my point, The second layer is a nylon mesh layer, which is a fiber added to help the regeneration in the skin. It's added to regenerate the, the cells and the blood supply and to help the hair follicles grow back. And the final layer, and it's probably the one you're all, uh, all wondering about, is the fish collagen, which is just fish protein. Now, why fish? Fish has an omega-3 fatty acid which is very, very similar to the human body. Thus, it helps us regenerate faster and in less pain. Yes, less pain. After conducting many research, it would actually help decrease the amount of time. Instead of healing in, up, in one month, you would heal in two weeks. And actually, a close friend of mine, he had a similar occurrence with his daughter, where his daughter had a burn on her chest, So she, wasn't, uh, so she wasn't able to get out of her home for one month. But I think that with my medical development, it would have helped her to get out of her home for in the first one to two weeks. So moving on, this is a diagram of a third degree burn, which is most notable in countries like Egypt, South Africa. And as you can see by the diagram, everything is destroyed. There is nothing present anymore. The nerves, everything is gone. So, Why is this significant? Well, as I created my simulation to help you give you a better idea of how my artificial skin works, this was the result. So, to explain what's going on, this is a 3D simulation. When I added all the factors into my program, it actually showed the full regeneration of the skin. All the hair follicles have grown back, and all the pieces of skin have regenerated fully. Now, the part where, as you can see, the nerves, it's not fully uh, completed to know if you, will be able, if you will be able to regenerate the nerves, because it's still a hypothesis. But with more research, I'll be able to find out if actually it'll be able to regenerate the nerves. Other than that, it regenerates the whole part of the, the skin. Now, After going more and more in depth into my research, I found out that here in Egypt, 18% of all of the children in Egypt have a permanent disability due to burns. 6.8 million children out of 38 million have a permanent disability due to the burns occurring from kerosene and just general burns in public. Uh, so that got me thinking, as well as in South Africa, 26 million dollars each year are spent on burns. And if you think about it, 
South Africa is not one of the most uh, or the highest income countries, so spending $26 million each year on just a specific part from a large part of a medical program, it would take a lot of out of their income. So I started brainstorming how can I help to reduce the price, and that's what drove me to make... my artificial skin. Now, how is this significant? After researching and conducting more and more, and more research, I found out that after applying the skin to the body, it actually helps it regenerate in one to two weeks faster, and the pain is less by eight times due to the similar protein from the human body to the uh, fish uh, protein. Now, how might that be important? If anybody here was ever injured, he would probably tell you that the worst part of getting injured is the pain. Now, everybody probably knows that the top-ranked pain is, the, is birth. But birth can be over and done with in two hours. When you have a third-degree burn, you have to live with it. So that's why I think it would be significant to actually have a medical uh, discovery which will help recover in two to three weeks, instead of people spending months and months uh, healing and healing more and more and recovering and trying to figure out what could be done in two weeks in one month. Now, you could probably be asking now, like, how did I prove that this is cheaper? After I looked over, I found that a, a similar graft in the US called Integra, which is made out of shark cartilage and uh, cow protein, costs from 3600 to 7000 dollars which translates merely to over 100,000 Egyptian pounds. But the one I created only cost me 250 to $300, so it's 6,000 to 10,000 at max. So you can see the major price difference, almost a 10-time price difference. So you're probably all sitting now, gaining all this information, but how can you help me and help the world uh, decrease the amount of burns? Well, uh, I put my Instagram header because in the next few months, I'll be conducting and finalizing my research. So in hopes of creating a foundation or a campaign with supermarkets, uh, fish restaurants, just in general, any place that sells fish or discards fish, in hopes of getting a better idea of each part of the fish, so I can conclude to each country which graft is best for them. So here in Egypt, we would have the tilapia graft, but in South Africa, they might not have the same uh, types of fish. They might have salmon, herring. So I would be creating a graft very similar to each one to actually conclude and have a cheaper graft for each country in itself. And I want you guys to give me any ideas you have, and I'm willing to get any help from anybody who has any more ideas. And I want to thank you for listening, and enjoy the rest of the day.